children whenever you see so many objects moving around you the very first question that comes to your mind is that are these all objects moving in a similar pattern to answer to your this question i have come up with an activity where i am going to talk to you about the different types of motions the various material required for this activity are a toy car a piece of paper a colored paste slide ball fan clock a bead slide or a swing a pendulum and another fan let me keep these on one side so that the activity becomes clear to you see children can you see this car moving it is moving in a straight line such a kind of movement in which the object moves in a straight line is called as rectilinear motion let me show you something which will help you to understand this in a better way i will put this car in a colored paste so that the paste sticks to the wheels of the car now again i will allow this car to move on to the paper look at the kind of pattern the car has the wheels of the car has formed on the paper these are the straight lines so children anything which is moving in a straight line shows rectilinear movement here is a slide any object which slides down a slide also shows rectilinear movement if i allow a ball to fall down this kind of movement is also rectilinear movement now the another type of movement that we are going to talk about is circular motion here i have a fan the motion of the blades of the fan is called as circular motion can you see children that the blades of the fan are moving about a fixed point the central point called as the axis this is called as the axis and such a kind of motion is called as circular motion again let me show you something which will help you to understand this in a better way i have a plain sheet of paper over here see what i am going to do i will rotate the blades of the fan manually and i have inserted a small refill onto this to make you understand what is circular motion see when the blades of this fan are moving it has formed a circle and all the points that is the refill was at equal distances from the central point that is called as the axis such a kind of motion is called as the circular motion here i have another example of circular motion the needles of the clock are also moving in circular motion this is the central axis and the needles are covering equal distances at every point to form a circle 
such a kind of motion is an example of circular motion here is a bead which i have attached to a thread if i rotate this bead like this this mo motion is also an example of circular motion so children i think it is clear to you that if an object is moving around a fixed point called as the axis in a circular path such that it covers equal distances at all points that kind of motion is called as the circular motion now we will talk about another type of motion that is called as the periodic motion the best example of periodic motion is that of the earth rotating on its own axis because it repeats its motion after a fixed period of intervals here i have another example of a swing to help you to understand what periodic motion is see if this child is swinging on the swing this to and fro movement is repeating itself it is going here then comes back here then again goes here and comes back here this kind of movement is being repeated after fixed intervals of time this is called as periodic motion another example of periodic motion is the pendulum such a kind of pendulum you must have seen in the clocks if i move this pendulum this oscillation of the pendulum is also an example of periodic motion because it is going this is the fixed mean position it goes from here then comes back here then again moves to this point and comes back here this kind of movement is being repeated again and again so this is called as periodic motion children now is the time to bring your minds into motion i think after carefully observing this activity you will be able to clearly identify the types of motions shown in this picture 